hello everyone uh, in this session I will be telling you what is a framework or we can say what is an automation framework in interviews and in, many, in testing terms we uh, normally use a word that framework so uh, when we start our learning uh, automation so or we are cracking uh, in an initial level uh, the word we heard is framework and we are just confused at what is the need of framework because in the starting of learning automation we haven't used it uh, so after this it will be clear that what is an automation framework it will be real good help in uh, interviews because it is the most basic question which is asked okay uh, so just go to paint and just show you suppose uh, you, uh, you want to test Google or something you have to you are preparing some tests in selenium or okay I will just stick to selenium uh, it with uh, like uh, it's a very generic term but I will be sticking talking about selenium only so suppose you have tests okay this is test this is test we uh, or I'm saying it's a Java file okay this is test one dot test one this is test two and this is test three so you are working in a project okay and you have developed only three tests it's a small project okay now any build is come and you wanna test it so what will you do you will execute all these three okay you will write click on it and we'll uh, run as Java application and you will run all these three tests uh, maybe uh, one or uh, all together okay so it works fine and you can manually see if they are pass or fail by checking uh, checking the status and you can just send a report now suppose if there are n number of test cases okay this is for okay and you have kept all these test cases okay now if I said that uh, please uh, when I give to a build and I told you that execute the test cases so you have done you have executed these test cases and you have give me uh, checked all the result manually which is a very complex okay and you will tell me anyhow you are still succeeded okay but uh, of these about thousand test cases there were some test cases which for functionality one that is for login okay this was for functionality two x one this is for functionality three okay now any uh, build is come after fixing defect for login okay so I give this build to you and uh, say that please run login test cases on this build so if you have not distinct your test cases then how will you identify it it will be a very tedious task okay to select which test cases you to run okay now if I said uh, suppose now if we remove this in next time I said that uh, make a smoke run we know that what is a smoke run whenever a build is come or uh, it's, it's generally done by developers as well as testers to check overall status if the system is working fine or not just a rough scenarios main functional scenarios so I said you to run the smoke test daily to check if system is working properly or not so you have to suppose run this test and this test so daily it will be a task tedious task to select those these two test cases and run okay so there can be n number of situations in the starting of learning automation you won't be thinking that uh, this situation will arise be, uh, it only arises when you are working in a project 
okay when there are a lot of test cases so this is your one uh, difficulty okay now the second difficulty could be like I said that send me the report for all these test cases which test case are passed which are fail so how will you do that you cannot just check the report for each and every test and uh, open your excel sheet and start writing and then mail me at the end of the day so it will be a very tedious task if you are maintaining around a thousand and above tests okay so there are n number of difficulties if you are working like this when your project is a uh, uh, test uh, when you have count in the project uh, for test is increasing you start facing a lot of difficulties to curb this difficulty there is a concept of test automation okay now that what is a test automation framework okay test automation framework is which helps to build up the test okay it is to maintain our test okay it is a central location or it's a central what we can a central entity which helps to organize our test cases okay so that it can be organized whenever I say execute these test cases add those test cases any issues so it is a uh, it is not a standard you can say that what is a test uh, that I want to bring uh, build an automation framework what is the standards no there is not any standard okay as per your need you can build a framework as per your needs okay there is no standard for it that you have to do this do that okay so let's uh, I will just show you what is a framework in more detail suppose this this is your framework okay this is your test automation framework okay this is your framework you have some codes here etc now suppose uh, just hold for a second now for testing you need some test data for running of test test data okay you have your test scripts okay uh, 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 and after execution you have the logs file generated you have the reports okay you have screenshots uh, in input you can also need some uh, excel reader okay okay something like this or any database okay so what this test or framework does it's a central entity and it connects it it takes the test data it takes the test scripts it takes the connects with the excel and what it do it generate the logs it generate the reports it generate the screenshots okay so it's a central entity which is maintaining all these activities okay so if you have suppose uh, if you have selected two test cases in that case it will be generating report screenshot logs for it if you have 12 test cases it will also work okay so it has uh, made your life easier okay uh, suppose there are test cases uh, and inside test case also suppose I say that uh, this test should be executed uh, suppose test B should be executed after test A okay suppose there are two tests this is test A this is test B okay now I say that 
after test A, test B should be executed. What will be how we will do? If you are not using automation framework, then first you will execute A and then you will execute B. Okay. But if you are using an automation framework, you don't have to consider about this. Okay, you just type, I will just let you know afterwards. There is a file test ng uh, or there are some annotations uh, where you will mention that this test should be executed after test A. So by this you can handle this. Okay, so it's make you very user interactive. This is what we call as an automation framework. So there are usually two types of frameworks. Uh, a market uh, it's a test they are various but uh, mostly it's test ng and j unit j unit we also say that it is mostly used by the developers so for selenium we are using test ng only every big companies are using test ng <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys so we'll be using test ng as an automation framework i will be developing my later sessions on test ng only <laughs> okay and you must have also heard the word data driven framework okay and uh, the hybrid framework okay so uh, data uh, this uh, data driven framework right so what are these are these the test automation frameworks no they are not okay sorry okay so the example of test automation framework was test ng okay j unit these were automation framework now what are data driven and hybrid framework okay they are that they are the approaches you can say how we will be testing okay like say I will be making my testing by considering the data I will be testing by using the hybrid model okay I won't be going it's an approach to test okay like for example in test cases you say that for I will be making test depending upon a data for example if you have a login page you you can enter values like username passwords okay so you said that I will be making test depending upon how much data I can enter okay so they are the approaches they are not the automation framework data driven and hybrid and more they they are various uh, approaches they are not the test automation framework okay they are the approaches that how you can perform testing I think it clears all your doubt uh, regarding what is a test automation framework. In simple word test automation framework it's uh, not an standard. Okay. Uh, it's just uh, a management of your tests uh, and it makes your life easier. Okay. Thank you.